Great, I was telling all this kind of stuff here and the camera wasn't running. Okay, let's try this again. Since I have a lot of time, I was thinking about um, doing another sensor board. I have done this once, but this isn't exactly what I wanted it to be. But I thought that was an old project and I want to reload it. And I want to have two MCUs on this. Maybe for the reason I just explained to you. I want to have an Ethernet interface. The Ethernet interface will be, well, let's say the definite interface. Problem is, power connection. And I might do um, a USB interface as well. Okay, and this must all be connected to this MCU, which is an ordinary Admega. It has reasons mainly because I have the Ethernet driver, which took me a lot of work to get running. Ports to the Admega, the newer Admegas. This could be one of them, 644, for example. That's a smaller cased controller um, with 64 kilobytes. This time I won't. Uh, I don't want to have the problem that I'm running out of program space or memory or whatever. And this one, the MCU2, why do I want to have two MCUs on there? Should be an ATX Mega. The ATX Mega has completely different architecture. Still is 8-bit, but it's very powerful. And it has a lot, a lot of of um, peripheral interfaces, yeah? It has USART, it has SPI, it has DUI interface, and even a lot more, and plenty of them, I mean, numerous. I mean, I can do something like in, 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 in four of those, four of those, and four of those, all separate. Yeah, it depends on what, when I say, let's make this the 32. A3, I suppose it's named. Um, because it has so, 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 so many interfaces, which a normal Admiga just doesn't have. However, the driver, the Ethernet driver, and USB driver and stuff, are all coded for the classical CPU. And I just don't want to go through the trouble to adapt those drivers for this MCU. Also, <clears throat> also, point is that this MCU, I need all the pins probably for the numerous interfaces where I will then connect the sensors to. Sensor 1, sensor 2, and so on. This must be somehow connected to here. And the first sensor I want to implement is the HST20, is it 22 or 23? That's, um, I'll show you the parts in a minute. And through here, from here to here, there must be, of course, a communication interface. That's quite sure. And I think I'll make this a 2 by interface. I think... Not so sure about this, whether I might... Yeah, probably. Ah, but I could also make an SPI interface. That's something that it's all still in the open. But I have to interconnect those two, of course. And then comes the whole problem of how to power this crap. I mean, I think the, the power will... Uh, maybe... I need a, a 3 dot three volt system on there for numerous reasons for many of the controllers. <laughs> First reason is of course that this controller will only run with 3 dot three volts. There's no 5 volts for that anymore but this one can directly run with 5 volts. And then the whole thing I think uh, will draw about 500 milliamps. Writing through this display is quite shitty. looks like hell. <clears throat> This is the reason why I think 
I do it over USB. I don't even know whether I want to implement two communication interfaces like I did in the last project or if I used USB only to power it, but USB conform, which means I will still have a physical interface and uh, an MOSFET control and all that to power this thing USB conformly. And then you have USB suspension, which cannot be done if I just use the jacket and draw what I need. I can do it this way, but mm, I don't know. I want this is supposed to be a good project, so I don't think I do this kind of shit. Let's do it right. The 644 is a rather expensive controller. Where is it? I'll show it to you. Yeah, 32A4, that's the X Mega. And I want, uh, point is, I want to have this all very small, as small as it can be. That's the next point. It's a little part in intensive for what, what I planned here. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This, for example, would be would be the X Mega, or not? Ah, uh, come on. Ah, uh, damn. Here it is. That controller. And then I have the <coughs> six hundred and forty-four, which would be the second one. I large one I don't even know what I have I have only one of those uh, rather expensive I mean rather expensive means around almost 10 bucks but no no where, ha where do I have it I hope I do even have it. One, no, that's not all right. One, come on. Yeah, here it is, 644. That's the one I need. Yeah, that's the 644. That would be the main MCU. Crap in there, man. Which is also a very small looking controller, but I don't need a lot of IOs here. That's the point. I need it just for the COM interface and to communicate with the second controller. So I don't need a lot of IO interfaces. Here it is. So two relatively small controllers. Yeah, that's my finger. Two relatively small controllers uh, with 64 and 32 kilobytes of program memory, which adds up to. 96 kilobytes total program memory, which is plenty. I uh, should, should be able to do what I need. And this one should have at least 2, if not even 4 kilobytes of RAM. And this one should also have, if it, if it even has 8, I'm not so sure. But those are, they don't look this way, but those are very large controllers. So this is why I want to do those two. So this is probably not complete in concept but it's it certainly tells you <coughs> the basic concept of two MCUs with a COM interface the interfaces to, the, to, to all the TBI uh, to all the sensors I want to support starting with the HSTH and this is also a very nice and very, very cute controller wait a minute I'll show it to you I have an engineering sample <coughs> uh, because it is a very expensive controller I have to admit it but it's a humidity and temperature control, uh, temperature sensor. Uh, very, uh, hopefully b uh, better than the HST11 because the HST11 that was, mm, let's just say a very, when it comes to measuring temperature, always not so grand, you know. Where is it? Here it is. HST21 it's called, not 22. I have got two of them, two engineering samples. Here it is. Look, pretty cute, isn't it? My finger in comparison. And <coughs> funny thing, 
it's not the architecture that makes this project a little special. It's the fact that I want want to make this a standalone application. So maybe either here then I don't know I make an SD card interface. I'm not so sure or some other memory storage or it stores data within its RAM or EEPROM or what I don't know. Some sto maybe I'm not so sure. So this whole thing must be able to run completely standalone so that you don't even need a PC connection all the time but rather you sync the data with your local PC and on the PC side on the PC side you will have a database running a database that will store this information by, by some sort of a, of, a, of a daemon process and then stores the data back into the database and gives you a tool that makes you some graphical representation of the data you fetched and this is through one and probably the Ethernet interface and a daemon software that syncs the whole thing here that runs in background or runs periodically like with say a cron job daemon or something that you run once a day or once an hour or whatever and then it just fetches the data synchronizes it which is a very complicated thing I mean the software talking from the software and firmware uh, standpoint this is a very massive project but it will give you so much and then we'll, you will have a tool that is running, say, independently from the database, but accesses data from the database, of course, to make your graf graphical representation of your sensor data. And maybe even be able to set some alerts. Oh, you can do so much stuff with a thing like that. If you start thinking about it, as you see, there's no limits to a project like this. And that's the problem I have with it. It's just, it just appears to be too massively. I don't even know when I will ever get finished with this. I don't think uh, I have a chance to finish this in less than half or maybe even the a complete year. But yeah, that's my idea for a project that I could do. And yeah, let's hear your input. And also, I'd be interested, I mean, if I do a thing like that, who of you would even use it and rebuild it or whatever and, and uh, let's just say uh, use it because doing this for for myself only and then you have to implement more more sensor uh, sensor interfaces here and you need to port, support them on the PC side as well and this is all oh it's endless but well, that's my idea anyhow so I'd appreciate your input on this thank you